Out in ring number two from Beckenham, fighting out of the red corner, Steve Squeham. Well, Squarehead Farmer, Steve Farmer, hails from Beckenham, works as a plumber. Told me he's confident and followed it up with, well, you've got to be, haven't you? Certainly looks nice and calm and composed as he makes his way in. Steve Farmer! Says of the one million pounds that White Collar Boxing London have raised, that it's unbelievable, and it certainly yeah, is. And in ring number two, in the blue corner, from Tavern, James Muhammad Ali Marshall! Well, if Steve Farmer in the red corner was confident, James Muhammad Ali in the blue corner is definitely sure of himself making his debut. He says he's going to get the stoppage win. Looking in decent nick. Nice and calm as well. This could be and enter to all. An entertaining fight on our hands again. Well, as you can no doubt see, Steve Squarehead Farmer in the red. It's the taller man. Slightly shorter, stockier. James Muhammad Ali Marshall in blue. Nickname Muhammad Ali is descended from his nickname Mog at school. Oh, Farmer bullying Marshall to the to the ropes and letting his hands go, but Marshall responds with some nice accurate punching of his own. Squarehead Farmer. Well, this is interesting. Two men circling one another, each waiting for their opportunity. Lovely double jab from James Marshall. Flicks it out, just takes Farmer's vision away and then tries to work his right in behind it. Far uh, Marshall, sorry. And again, that jab lands on Farmer. Ooh, Farmer's corner telling him to jab his head off.
We are live on YouTube from the trucks here in London's East End. This is the 12th fight, second round of the 12th fight at White Collar Boxing London's Capital Punishment Show. We have got James Marshall in the blue corner and Steve Farmer wearing the red as the two men tangle against the ropes. Marshall's jab has been an effective weapon so far. Farmer just, just learning how to move away from it, but not really firing with any weight back. Maybe needs to plant his feet and let that right hand go at Marshall. There we go. Farmer comes in with some more meaty work of his own. Well, you can't turn your back on your opponent and Sam Amidi is gonna have a word. Again, that flicked left hook from Farmer, sorry, Marshall. Follows it up with the right to the body. Second round done and dusted. One more to go. Third and final round and James Marshall and Steve Farmer look like they're going to leave everything in the ring here. It's really hotted up. Farmer has upped his work rate considerably and I think that's going to be a standing eight count for James Marshall. Farmer just wandering over to his corner. If you're not really supposed to do, you should go to a neutral one when you're Opponent is taking account. Farmer's determined in this final round to get the, get the win. Sam Amidi having a, a good look here. That big right hand. As I said, once he plants his feet, he does look like he's got quite a bit of power. The plumber Farmer. Just Getting back into it now, Marshall. Farmer goes to the body, lovely right from Marshall to the head. Jab right hand over the top. Farmer just starting to use his reach. Advantage and now he walks down Marshall. This is an exciting third round. High energy and a lovely right hand follows it up with a left from Farmer. Marshall takes it well and another right hand. And he hears the final bell. Well, that one's going to be very, very tight on the cards. Thank you. 
the judges have scored about 30 points to 29 in favour of your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Steve Scuola. Well, that was a terrific fight. Well, as I was saying, that was a terrific fight here in ring number two. Treating your viewers live on YouTube. The uh, standing eight count that Steve uh, James Marshall took in the final round just swung it in favour of Steve Palmer. We move on to our 13th fight of the evening. And don't forget, we've still got a title fight. One more title fight to go. 